Mr. President Duarte Pacheco, Mr. Secretary General Martin Chongong, parliamentarians from around the world. It is my great pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the United Nations General Assembly and its 193 member states to all of you gathered for the IPU's 143rd Statutory Assembly in Madrid. It was my great pleasure to see so many of you in person in Vienna in September for the fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament. As a former speaker, and of course as a parliamentarian for many decades, I'm keenly aware of the importance of parliamentary diplomacy and of parliaments working to improve and bring to reality United Nations agreements with legislation and budgets. I welcome the fact that you will now build on the roadmap laid out in the Fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament declaration adopted at the occasion and continue to work to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic, build resilience in our societies, and reinforce our shared commitment to the rule of law, sustainable development, democracy, and human rights around the world. I'm pleased to see the robust engagement between the IPU and the United Nations in the context of the Madrid Assembly. I understand the IPU Standing Committee on UN Affairs Parliamentarians will examine the global vaccination campaign with representatives of the WHO and WTO as well as review the UN Secretary General's report entitled Our Common Agenda. I fully support this important parliamentary event and I look forward to receiving the outcome of your deliberations. Here let me take the opportunity to inform you that I will convene a high-level event on vaccine equity on 13th January 2022 to mobilize momentum to vaccinate all. I count on your support to achieve this goal. President Pacheco, parliamentary colleagues and dear friends, I applaud the incredible work of the IPU and am fully committed to further strengthening the strategic partnership between the IPU and the United Nations. I look forward to welcoming all of you, dear friends, to the United Nations headquarters in New York for the annual parliamentary hearing in February and to continue to work with you in service of We the Peoples. I wish you all a very fruitful assembly.